Welcome to part 6 of this Football Manager 2018 experiment where I've flipped all of the English leagues around. We've created carnage but it's been really really interesting so far and I said on part 5 if you could hit 200 likes on that video I would do a part 6 and holiday 10 more years into the future. You guys smashed that so here we are. I think, I mean I was thinking this probably should be the end but I'm... You know, if you can smash 300 likes once again on this video, then I will holiday another 10 years into the future. It won't get in the way of any more Football Manager experiments because I've already started the Can Egypt Win the World Cup experiment, so that's running. I've got a separate laptop basically holidaying into the future with various experiments, basically throughout the day, overnight, um, so it's not having an impact on anything else. So I'm happy to holiday another 10 years if you really, really want me to. It's kind of levelled out now. There's not as much interesting things going on. Just started on the, the World Cup screen, as you can see here, the last few World Cup winners. Remember, Scotland managed to win it in 2034. That was a massive surprise. But it's not not, not really any impact has been, occur has been caused by what I've done. It's just that's how the game has played out. You can see England now second in the world rankings. Um, the top teams, as you can see here, it's kind of back to where it was, apart from Manchester City, who have suffered the most out of the big English teams on this save. It could be completely different if you started from the beginning. Um, if you do want to download the, the Steam Workshop file, it is, well, it's on the Steam Workshop. I've, there's a link in the episode in part one, I think. So if you want to holiday into the future yourself and see what happens, then go for it. Um, maybe you could let me know how, how you get on or even <laughs> make some videos yourself on this if, if you really fancy. Alternatively, of course, you could manage one of these teams. One of the um, real-life Premier League teams, try to get them back all the way out to the top or perhaps the other way around, manage uh, a real-life National League team and see if you can stay in the top divisions. This guy's in charge of England now, Pablo Mafio, 49-year-old Spaniard. I guess, in fact, he was born in 1997, which <laughs> is amazing that he's now 49. It just shows how far into the future we have gone. The English Premier League is actually still a four-star four reputation league, uh, top of the competition reputation in Europe, ahead of Serie A and the Spanish First Division, La Liga. You can see the most recent winners. It's been a bit different, actually. We've had some variation. It's not just been like Man United and Arsenal. Their dominance was ended in 2037-38 season by Spurs, who've managed to win it four times in the last 10 years. Man United have still managed to win it four times in the last 10 years, but their dominance is certainly not um, as strong as it was, uh, with Arsenal winning it once and Liverpool actually managing to win the league for the first time since 1980, 1990. Sorry, so <laughs> That is a hell of a long time not to win it. We've not seen any of the smaller teams featuring in the top three, unfortunately. It's kind of returned to where we expected. Everton have managed to finish second twice, but you know that's not a massive shock for this sort of thing. Spennymore seem to be the team that f finished the highest every year, managing to finish eighth this year, but they can't seem to break into that top six. Although, they, I'll tell a lie, they did finish sixth last season, so well done to them there. If I just go back, the Gaines were the top team that season. Spennymore was seventh the season before. Bogner Regis 7th in the 2043 season, spending more 8th, uh, Bogner Regis 7th. Remember, if you spot anything unusual or interesting that I don't say out loud in the video, stick it in the comment section below so everyone else can, can find out uh, something interesting that you have spotted. Um, but yeah, well, that's that's where we started this part six Spurs run in the league, spending more. Have, they've generally finished 7th or 8th most seasons, so well done to them for continuing to be a successful team on this. I, there's only, I think, three teams that have managed to stay in the Premier League the entire time. That is some achievement. It really is to, to go 30 years and still finish in the top, well, in the top league every year. The lowest they finish is 16th, close to relegation in 2041. But other than that, they have really been a top 10 team the entire time, which is amazing. Of course, they won the league twice as well. Salford, the only team to win more leagues than them, win it, win it three times. You could argue Spennymore are the most successful team, though, because Salford have been relegated three times. In fact, they're not in the top division at the moment, so we'll have a look to see where they are. The other teams to survive, I think, the Premier League is Bognor Regis Town, who've never really finished particularly high. The highest they finish in recent years is sixth, quite a few times. Um, I don't know if they might have finished in the, I think they finished in the top four at the start of the experiment when we didn't have the real life um, Premier League teams in here. But they've done they've done really well as well. Four star reputation team. They've 
stayed in the top flight the entire time. That is a really good achievement. I don't think have Gainsborough managed. Yeah, Gainsborough the other team. Gainsborough Trinity. Uh, so likewise, never really finished particularly high. You can see the highest they finished in the last 20 years is uh, seventh in 2031. The rest of the time, they've kind of floated around mid table, I suppose. The lowest they have finished is 17th, but they did manage to survive. And this year, they did finish uh, 10th. So they've done very well as well and they are rich four star reputation team uh, St Albans have been relegated this season they've they turned into a bit of a yo-yo team over the last 10 years as you can see here they've had a remarkable time on their save as well up to this point when they were relegated they hadn't been relegated and they'd managed to win a few FA Cup titles as well remember it's a really good achievement for them Newcastle have just been relegated I think that yeah they're kind of they're actually floating between League One Championship and the Premier League, they were only promoted last year for the first time, but they've been relegated straight away. Uh, Pool Town have just been relegated as well. They're a yo-yo team. There's, some, there's a lot of yo-yo teams. West Ham, yo-yo team, as you can see here, between the Championship and the Premier League. Man City were a yo-yo team for many years, as you can see here. They finally got promoted to the Premier League in 2032, only to become a yo-yo team for the next few years. They managed to sustain themselves in the Premier League for a few years, but only finishing in the well, in the bottom 10 every single season before being relegated, promoted again, and then the last couple of years they have managed to survive. But, yeah, they are the, the big English team that has been the least successful. They have struggled. They took the longest to get to the top flight. There are still some real-life Premier League teams failing quite mis miserably if we do go down the leagues. So Salford have managed to get promoted back to the big time this season. They have been relegated three times on this save, but spent the majority of their time in the top flight. Of course, they managed to win three Premier League titles at the start of this game. Uh, but when the real-life Premier League teams came along, rivals Manchester United, for example, they just couldn't quite manage to keep up. Let's just have a look at the most recent winners of the championship then. Promoted teams etc as you can see playoff winners most recent years uh, Paul Town have been up and down off to Oxford City they've all featured going up between the divisions so there are some teams that have sustained themselves in the top f two divisions possibly top three divisions which is some achievement there are teams that have been relegated all the way back down to the bottom unfortunately but I think it's uh, pretty I think this has been more successful than previous experiments I've done because we've often had all of the teams dropping out the top flight but this time round, there have been quite a few teams that have managed to sustain themselves to this point, which is, I think, a very good achievement. Promoted from League One, then, Hull City, Chippenham and Chesterfield. Now, where did Chippenham start? They did start in the Premier League. They were relegated all the way down to League One, but they are back into the Championship, so well done to them. Truro, they're in League One now. They had a few years in the Premier League, then they yo-yoed lots of years in the Championship, relegated last year. And now they're in League One. Now, Leighton Orient, Telford, Nottingham Forest and Wildstone relegated. So Wildstone down in League Two now for the first time. They spent the majority of their time in the Championship. Yo-yoed between League One and League uh, and the Championship. And now they're back in League Two. Got Huddersfield Town in League One here. Real life Premier League team, of course. Swansea, Burnley. So they're all stuck in League One at the moment. Huddersfield... Haven't had a great time. The highest they have been is League One. And they're kind of a yo-yo team between League One and League Two here. They took a long time to finally get back up the divisions. And they've just got stuck at this stage and become a League One team. League Two then. Bradford Park Avenue promoted. They've had an interesting time because I think they were the fastest team to get relegated all the way. If we just... Can we go further back? Yes, we can. So they started in the Premier League. They were actually the first, well, they were relegated in that first season, but look at this. Relegated every year to the National League. In fact, relegated every year to the Vanarama North. That is absolutely awful from them. Really, really bad. So they were back, the first team to be back where they started out of any team, I think. They must be the first ones to have done this. Spent lots of years in the Vanarama North, but they're now back They're back up to League One again after winning League Two. That's a really interesting journey. I don't know how that's happened, but it's almost like they saved up all that money from that TV money from that first season and probably a bit of money from the championship, parachute payments and all that. They've kind of saved it away, bided their time. They've been relegated, spent many years in, in the league where they started, 
and they're now up to League One. They've got OK finances, two-star reputation. They're only regional. So they've done really well get to get back to League One. That is an intriguing journey. If we do holiday another 10 years, I'll be interested to see if they can get back to the Premier League uh, and go sort of full circle. That would be really, really good achievement in itself because you kind of think when a team's got back to where they started in the Vanarama North or South, they're not going to go anywhere. They're just going to stay at that level. But they've actually managed to, to improve. We've got Chelmsford City down in 21st. They've dropped all the way down to this level eventually. Um, they've been a League 2 team for many, many years, as you can see. Oxford and Cambridge. <laughs> Oxford and Cambridge relegated in the same year. That's brilliant to see. I mean, not great for Oxford and Cambridge fans, but quite funny that they've been relegated at the same time. The Vanarama National League then, most recently won by Northampton Town and Bristol Rovers going up via the playoff. I don't think there's any real... I think the lowest real-life Premier League team is Huddersfield. Might be wrong. But we've got Barnet, AFC Fold, Haven to Waterloo and North Ferriby relegated. These are kind of teams you'd expect to see down here now. North Ferriby spent many years in the Championship. They did really well. But in the last 10 years, they have been relegated all the way to where they kind of started I suppose and now they're in they've been relegated once again and uh, it's interesting that some teams can sustain themselves for many years at a certain level and then suddenly just drop off I guess it happens in real life but that is a really fast decline whereas other teams have got relegated straight away and come back again and improved and then there are the, the really good teams like Spennymore that have managed to sustain themselves the whole time. But how long would they sustain themselves? Will they always be a Premier League team? Will they turn into like an Everton who are always in the top flight? I don't know. We'll have to see, I suppose. You know, an Everton that stay in the top flight but never win anything. That's what Spennymore kind of are at the moment, I guess. Although Everton might be relegated in real life, of course, this season, as they're in a torrid time. This is the Vanarama National League North, which was run by Bradford City. So they are actually two divisions below uh, Bradford Park Avenue, and they've only got a local one-and-a-half-star reputation. They've got Remy in charge. <laughs> Brackley promoted from this division as well. Now, they've yeah they've been relegated slowly, but surely. That's not been a really big, fast decline, um, but they are back in the Vanarama National League now. Corby, Altrinham and Kettering relegated on seven points, but there's a few teams here that started in the regional leagues. FC United back where they started they survived in the championship for a few years and then it's been a slow decline back to the National League North uh, the Premier here relegated back to this division and now they're just a uh, Vanarama National League North team unfortunately this is the Southern Division then which was won by Charlton Athletic Welling also going up to Charlton they in fact they were relegated out of this completely twice as you can see here but they've come back I think they've not been promoted from this level at all on this save in fact they would have been relegated early on wouldn't they because they didn't start in this division and now they're back up to the Vanarama National League with only a one-star local reputation so despite being relegated to these regional leagues down here and losing their reputation they have managed to get back up to the Vanarama National League that's really interesting um, Averley relegated here yeah this is something I noticed I put it on Twitter actually Bishop Stortford relegated with minus five points because they had a ten point deduction they got five draws this season but that's that is awful from Bishop Stortford did I think they started in the t did they start in the pr no they started in the regional leagues because they got relegated last year in real life didn't they so it's not terrible but it seems like Bolton I don't think they've ever managed to get out let's have a look Bolton Wanderers here they are oh they yeah oh what's happened here oh yes of course so they started in what division the bottom division didn't they and they've been they were relegated in that first season so there's no history for them because they were relegated in that first year and they've never managed to get back up They've got a half-star local reputation. They've just been destroyed by this experiment, which I kind of feel bad for, but you always have these teams on this type of experiment that end up being dreadful. Let's go down to the FA Cup then, which, no, we don't want to look at that. We want to look at the overall profile to see the most recent winners. So Spurs beat Chelsea in the most recent final. We've not had any, any really interesting winners since, I guess, Blackburn Rovers in 2032. And before that, St Albans, remember, they won it three out of four years really successful time for them but since then 
We've seen Spennymoor reach the final, Bognor each reached three finals, Gloucester and Gainsborough reached the final, but really unlucky not to win it. They just couldn't quite, could they? But it's good to see these teams actually getting through to FA Cup finals. A Carabao Cup, it mended itself, remember, in 2029, so we've got quite a big, big history here. Spennymoor won it in 2036, beating Man United in the final, so that's really good. Bognor Regis then won it against Blackburn, and Gloucester have beaten Arsenal. So three teams, three of our smaller teams, have managed to win this tournament, which is great to see. Community Shield then, it's kind of what you'd expect here, unfortunately. Uh, let's go down to the Checker Trade Trophy. Arsenal under 23 has won it four years in a row, as you can see there. We've seen Hungerford win it, though, and Chippenham. So that's a little bit different. Going down to the FA Trophy, lots of different winners in here. Of course, we saw the big teams winning it early on when they were in the, the non-leagues. And in recent years, we've seen kind of real-life League 1 and League 2 teams winning it because they're still at that level. And if we just look at the under 23s Premier Division, you can see the most recent winners don't think there's anything that jumps out at me there but we do actually have the likes of Harrogate under 23, Salford under 23, St Albans under 23s at this level and I guess you've got the, the second tier as well, Western Supermare under 23s managing to get promoted along with Poole under 23s, finishing ahead of Spurs under 23s there so that's achievement in itself. Champions League then, Real Madrid have won it the last two years, we've seen Arsenal, Man United, Everton managed to win it beating Spurs in a final, and Chelsea as well. So, despite all these teams starting at the very bottom, they've gone back to the very top. And I guess, if you're an Everton fan, if you were to be told you're going to be relegated to the bottom division, but in 2042, you'll win the Champions League, you'd probably accept that, because I can't see Everton ever winning the Champions League in the next 30 years, unless something drastic happens. So, that is pretty impressive from... Everton to win it. They've also managed to win the most recent Euro Cup, but they've featured in the last two finals. Blackburn Rovers have won it twice in the last few years. Liverpool Arsenal have featured. Of course, we did see Bognor Regis win it in 2029, so that's the, that's the best winner for me. Spenny Moore reached a couple finals. They've been really unlucky not to win this tournament. Uh, Super Cup. I've not had a look at this, actually. But you can see Blackburn managed to win the most recent one. They've won it twice as well. Under-19 Champions League, for those of you interested... These are the winners. I haven't looked at the European Championship for a while. So Spain won it three years in a row. Holland, three times in a row, sorry. Holland and Germany have won the last two. So I think that's the end of part six. Uh, I've, I think I've shown you everything of interest, really. It's been an incredible journey. If I don't do another part, then thank you for watching this series. But if you do want me to holiday another 10 years, I'm happy to do so. So 300 likes, I think that's enough interest. You hit 300 likes on the last video. So if you guys want to see another 10 years into the future, then hit that like button. Lots of other experiments are coming to the channel. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. Either tweet me, stick them in the comment section of experiment videos and I will put them in a list and, and see if there's anything I think will work well in video format. There's a, a few that I've got planned and actually holidaying into the future at the moment. Of course, we've got the Egyptian one that's currently going, so that will go for a few parts as well. But there is a few more ideas in the back of my mind. I'm really enjoying this, actually. I'm glad I've got back into experiments. I obviously took a year break from it to do regen rovers. I do want to do a long, big save, for those of you wondering, but I'm focusing on experiments at the moment because that's the thing I'm just enjoying. So I, I want to do what I enjoy. I think that's the, the most important thing for me to do, really, just to keep the content flowing. Anyway, until next time, enjoy FM18, and I'll see you very soon.